What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have some other great news about the jailbreaking and this time it's very interesting and it's coming from Max Bzaili. I have no bloody idea how to pronounce that. Sorry dude. But uh, this security researcher in here has uh, basically jailbroken the uh, Apple Watch. And as you can see from a screenshot posted in here by um, by Louis Vidal, you can see the um, the computer of Max um, actually showing SSH root local host, so basically um, creating an SSH connection to the actual device and then running the command uname A, which basically prints out the kernel and so on of the Apple Watch. You can see it's watch 1.2 and uh, it's pretty much showing the entire thing in there. You can actually do that uh, as well on your computer, but of course you do have uh, permissions on your computer to run the command and you have a terminal access and you can do the same thing in here. You can see you have it in here as well, but he did it on the device and uh, this means that he has access to a terminal connection or to a, an SSH connection to run it in terminal on the device of course, proving the fact that he is jailbroken. Now, you can see here, uh, this has been presented, the Apple Watch jailbreaking uh, presentation of Max has been presented at DEF CON, and uh, it took place, I think, two days ago or one day ago, I can't really remember, but you can see here on his Twitter, that uh, he has a lot of uh, posts in here with the, the jailbreak presentation itself. I really hope I can find the presentation online because I would be really interested into you know reading it and taking a look at, a look at it. Now you're probably going to ask me what the hell this means. I mean, who the hell still cares about the Apple Watch and the jailbreak? You can't really do much of a thing on the um, Apple Watch, can you? It's not like being jailbroken on your iPhone. Well. If he was able to, you know, jailbreak the Apple Watch, this means that the uh, the jailbreak community still has some researchers, you know, focused on finding vulnerabilities, no matter for which device, you know, uh, being that the Apple Watch, being the iPad, the iPhone, the iPod, and so on, no matter what device it is, as long as they are still focused on, you know, finding vulnerabilities and demoing jailbreaks, it still means that Apple isn't going that tough after all. So this is a very important thing to keep in mind. If um, if the jailbreaks are still possible, this means that we're still safe and we might still see jailbreaks in the future because we might still have, you know, security researchers interested into somehow bringing these to the uh, community. If you remember, a couple days ago, Stefan Ezer has announced that he managed to create a tool for jailbreaking on iOS 9.3.5, a firmware for which uh, literally nobody would have you know hoped for a jailbreak after that long time you know it's, it's been unsigned for literally a year and a half so yeah nobody actually thought a jailbreak will be created for this firmware now it's still not released but um, this means it has been created and this means that um, it can be released at some point in the future so yeah if you're interested in you know apple watch jailbreak and so on and you want to follow up this guy in here his twitter is in the description down below if i manage to find the uh, presentation from defcon with um you know jailbreaking the apple watch that is actually in here uh jailbreaking apple watch by max uh, Bazili, Bazili. I will also publish it in the description down below. Anyways, this is actually it guys. As I said, if you're interested in the Apple Watch or you have an Apple Watch and uh, yeah, you're interested into pounding it, you might want to take a look at this guy's, you know, presentation if I manage to find it. So that's actually it. Till the next time, I'm Gia Snow. Peace out.